What's up guys, this is GR Pace, this is going to be uh, part one of a, a water cooling uh, videos I'm going to be doing. I just wanted to uh, show you guys what I picked out for my uh, loop and uh, how I have it testing right now. I just want to make sure everything's uh, working pretty well. Uh, starting off with the water block is the CPU 350 from Coolant. It's a uh, nice looking water block and it should perform very well. Um, moving on to the radiator, this is a actually a CNC heat exchanger, but I got it for a good price on Overclock.net, and uh, this should perform about as good as a uh, standard 320 uh, computer radiator. And I have this hooked up with a whole bunch of uh, fittings and stuff from uh, Home Depot I picked up today with some uh, yeah Teflon tape to make sure there's no leaks. Uh, moving on, we've got uh, a cheap SwiftTech Micro Res, and then moving down, we have a SwiftTech MCP 655 pump. So that's about it. I have it all running, and uh, yeah, so far uh, filling it up and everything went pretty smoothly, except for uh, right here. I did have some leaks, but that's before I put in the uh, Teflon tape. But now it's perfectly fine, there's no leaks, and I can shake it around, nothing happens. I do have a quick question for you guys uh, about these little mini bubbles that come into your uh, tubing. Uh, will those go away over time, or is it whatever? Or is there something I should be doing to get rid of these bubbles? So I know if I squeeze on the tubing, some of them go away. But not always. So, um, yeah, so let me know. Uh, about the bubbles and if you have any uh, suggestions comments uh, opinions or whatever uh, let me know in the comments and uh, yeah stay tuned for part two of this water cooling build or whatever you want to call it loop or whatever so that's about it and I'll see you guys later